Hello, I'm Cody Whipple with the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. Today, I'm going to introduce you to stream order. I'm currently in a first order stream right now. Oftentimes, first order streams flow through heavily wooded areas. You can see I have a lot of rhododendron around me right now, which helps to cast shade on the stream year round, helping keep that water cold and clean. When you think about stream order, the number correlates directly to the size of that stream. So a first order stream is smaller than a second order stream. The lower the number, the smaller the stream. In order to form that second order stream, two first order streams, which I have represented with the black marker, have to come together or confluence. A confluence is where just one stream flows into another and two streams meet. So right here, we have two first order streams meeting to form that second order stream, which we have represented in red. The same goes for a third order stream. I have a third order stream represented with blue right here. Two second order streams have to come together to form that third order stream. And we continue on down the line to form a fourth order stream, which I have represented in green. Two third order streams have to come together to form that stream, to form that stream. You know, it is possible to have a first order stream flow into a third order stream or even a fourth order or even a fifth order or even a sixth order stream. It's possible to have a second order stream flow into a fourth. The most important thing to remember is that that fourth order stream is formed by two third order streams coming together somewhere down the line. The same here where I have a first order flowing into a third order, this third order still being formed by two second orders coming together somewhere. To learn more about Pennsylvania's water resources, you can visit fishandboat.com.